Hey Taurus, welcome to Shared Sentience and thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate it. So this is going to be your general weekly reading. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all that stuff's going to be addressed within the description box down below, as well as information from my Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon. So for 13, 13 monthly, you can join me over on Patreon. Um, I just completed the remainder of the May readings there last week. So if you guys would like to check that out, it's going to be in the description box down below. I'll also be offering some Reiki tips over there pretty soon, okay? So I'm going to be using uh, the Smithwaite Borderless tarot today i'm just going to kind of freestyle it and let the cards fall and see what they have to say okay not really going to be using my other tools here today um so let's see So you might be partnering up with somebody in business you might be collaborating with someone here uh to start something okay or the two of you might have something going on separately so you're collaborating in order to expose it a little better okay um Let's see what we're getting here. We're getting the Tower, the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Uh, Scorpio, also Aries, and the Ace of Pentacles is Earth. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So some of you might be having a, an ending here with an Earth sign. All right. Or a Scorpio. Okay. The number eight might be significant to you at this time. Uh, let's see what the... Some of you might be leaving a job here. Let's see. Queen of Swords. Yeah. So you might be counselors or you might be moving to a job um, where you counsel people, okay, where you're a speaker of some sort. Mm, yeah, the world card. There's a change in status, okay? Uh, fixed energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. You're exiting one chapter, you're moving to another for a lot of you, okay? Some of you, there's a person here who didn't want a higher level of commitment, so you're moving on from that. I see you putting this behind you is what it looks like to me here. Uh, and you're embracing a new beginning here, whether this is with yourself or with someone else. For a lot of you, I'm going to say it's yourself because you're right here in the middle, okay? Um, there's something else that I'm getting here. There's definitely an ending with a fire sign, though, is what I'm feeling here very strongly, okay? Yeah, there's something that's unexpected that's happening here <clears throat> with a fire sign. Let's see what else we get. Knight of Cups, Piscean Energy, King of Swords. We've got the King and Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody might be apologizing here, okay? Because we do have the King and Queen. We've got the Queen who's cutting things off here, whether you're male or female. And then you've got the Knight of Cups paired with the King of Swords. So there could be an Aquarius apologizing or a Pisces for some. Okay, the Moon card, Pisces. All right. Someone also may, might be revealing some kind of truth to you as to why they didn't want a commitment. That could be something that's going on here for some, okay? But there is some kind of truth being revealed to you, all right? With that Knight of Cups, there's something changing with your vision here. You're seeing something more clearly is what I'm getting here, Taurus. Some of you, you're planning a lot here. Yeah, some of you are making plans to do something here. Uh, the Star card is Aquarian Energy. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles, yeah, this could involve your money. Five of Pentacles, yeah. Some of you guys are trying to come out of um, a broken state here. For some of you, this is um, financial. Others of you, it's emotional. But I see some reflecting here, okay? I see some clarity here. I see you getting somewhere is what I feel like saying here, Taurus, okay? So I feel like you've been trying to cut through something here for quite some time. And I feel like you're getting to that place now, okay? How you're going to get from this Five of Pentacles to this Ten of Pentacles. You might have some guidance backing you up here with this Star card, Aquarian Energy, okay? Uh, so whether this is emotional, financial, I do feel for a lot of you this is financial, okay? Five of Swords reversed, okay? I also feel like you're giving up on something here. It could be an Air sign. That's Aquarian Energy. Nine of Wands, yeah. Sag energy and the nine of pentacles you got two nines here some of you are moving away from someone here or you're moving um you're, you're leaving a work environment something of that nature could be going on here all right <clears throat> nine of pentacles is virgo energy and the king of cups out here is scorpio okay I, like, I feel like you have other things to maintain here, okay? I feel like there's something you want to entertain, but you have to maintain something else here. You have to maintain balance, okay? You have to stay grounded is what I'm feeling here. Uh, because I see some of you guys getting some kind of offer here. Yeah. Nine of Swords. It's going to put you in your head. You got three nines showing out here. That number could definitely be significant to you at this time. But I see you guarding and protecting yourself from this energy. Capricorn, okay? What else are we getting here for Taurus? Some of you guys might have strong soul ties to a Leo is something else I'm feeling here, okay? Queen of 
Four of Cups, Cancerian energy. You're ignoring something here. Ten of Cups, Piscean energy. Queen of Cups, Cancer. Let's clarify this Ten of Cups here. Eight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Yeah. See, somebody is trying to pretend. This is someone who's moved on here, I feel. Or it's someone that you've been at a distance from. Whether this is emotional, physical, whatever. Someone's coming in here trying to work with you. Offering some kind of message here. But with that Knight of Swords, I feel like that's that's that same energy. That's what you're ignoring here. Uh, someone's coming in with this kind of offer. But they have nothing to back it up. They can't back it up. Okay, is what I'm feeling here. So that's something to be mindful of. Someone could be pretending that they have money. They have a job. They're stable. Okay, because they're seeing that. Uh, that's where you are okay so they're trying to pretend that they're on your level here is what i'm feeling okay so i'll be mindful of that what else are we getting here for taurus There's also a Capricorn here who wants you to reach out. Judgment reverse. I don't see you doing that, but I see it burdening you for some reason, okay? Uh, judgment is Scorpio and Aries. Ten of Wands is Sag, okay? Also getting Libra. This could involve a Libra too for you, Taurus, okay? The devil. There's that Capricorn energy, okay? Um... Yeah, I'm getting, like, silence breeds toxicity, all right? So that's what I'm feeling here. Somebody needs to take action on something, okay? Somebody needs to speak up here in this situation. I think I actually had, um, I think your last reading said something about this, okay? But somebody wants to reconcile here, okay? Um, yeah, and there's a blockage. So you could be blocking this person. They could be blocking you. It could be a fire sign, all right? But somebody's got a decision to make, all right? Because there's love here, okay? There's love here, but somebody's not saying anything. Somebody's not acting on it. So, let's see here. Six of Swords, Page of Wands. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Seven of Cups, Magician, King of Pentacles. This is work-related for some. Some of you, your passions are like up against one another is what I'm feeling here. You can't decide what you want to start, okay? So, therefore, you're not really starting anything at all is what I'm getting here, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, some of you want to make sure that there's movement here is what I'm feeling with this Mercury in uh, Aquarius. Some of you want to make sure there's movement with these ideas, okay? All these swords pointed down here, um, especially paired with the Seven of Cups, is just not a good look to me, okay? Page of Wands, Empty Kicks. I think there needs to be more planning, okay? I think there needs to be more planning with this King of Pentacles, um, is what I'm feeling here. Because you can do more than one thing, okay? You can do more than one thing. You can balance more than one thing. That's important to be uh, mindful of. Maybe you don't have to pick. Maybe you can do all of this, right? Um, but if if not, okay, uh, then I see you need to really sit down and plan. Because sometimes when you don't pick something, you're picking something. So I would be mindful of that. Maybe you have multiple job opportunities here, but you're not picking one, okay? Maybe all those opportunities disappear. With the Seven of Cups being present here and this Five of Wands. Five of Wands can represent competition. So I'd be mindful of that, okay? Uh, but I see you having a lot lot of offers okay or a lot of options when it comes to money and the way that you make your money so yeah I see a victory um, a potential for a victory because aces are uh, potential so yeah I would definitely get started on something or get started on more than one thing just make a decision here when it comes to that so that's what I'm seeing here for you uh, Taurus I hope this was helpful and I want to thank you guys so much for watching have a great week